Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away, and we have got the next episode of pack 3 of Build Drone Thunderbird 2 for Model Space. Okay, in this issue we're going to be building the pod and we're also going to be building another elevator car and a brilliant vehicle that I couldn't wait for. We are waiting for Fab 1. Now those of you astute out there must have known that I just spoke in past tense, not previous tense. <sighs> Let me tell you what happened, okay? I recorded four hours of footage. It took me four hours to build this uh, this pack. I had an absolute blast doing it. <sighs> three hours of the data, actually three hours, 20 minutes, 40, three and a half hours, sorry, about three and a half hours of the footage was corrupt on the system and I was absolutely gutted. So all I've got for you in this video is 20 minutes of footage of me putting detail on the pod and I'll try to rack my brains what's the best way to do this build for you uh, to keep it in the series to show you what we had to do. So what I've done is I've done a quick voiceover of the uh, PDF instruction file explaining some of the issues that I've had and uh, some of the things that you need to look out for when you're doing that and then when you see the finished uh, products that I've got here you'll have some idea of how I got to this stage. Now it's not all as bad as it seems because even though you won't see the pod being built on this one this is pod 3 and I'm going to have to do it in a later pack again when I build pod 4 so uh, if you want to see that built when I get to pod 4 we can build that again you've already seen an elevator car being built it's exactly the same apart from a little detail at the front and uh, that was in pack 1 so uh, if you want to see an elevator car being built go to pack 1 the gutting thing is you won't see anywhere me building fab 1 and since this has all been glued together um all I could do was really talk through the instructions. Once Fab One's built, then my video footage that isn't corrupt goes live and you can see that now. So listen, I'm so sorry for that, but uh, anyone who's on my social media knows that I was absolutely gutted when that happens because pack three is a great pack to do. And I can't, I'm just itching to get onto the next packs as well. So listen, I hope you like that video. Um, sorry that it's actually come to this, but this is the best I can do. But I have got some excellent pictures to show you what's finished at the end of the build. Take care. Because I have lost all that footage, I think the best way to show you is what I did up to the point where I do have some footage to show you. Uh, so basically we're gonna be building pod three and uh, we've got the front hatch here and all the hinges and the interior of the front hatch. And what we had to do is we had to put these hinges together. This bit is the most uh, important bit of this build, making sure this pin goes all the way through there and not just hanging out the end. Uh, for two reasons, that end has got a slot into uh, the, the main body of the pod and the biggest Thing is if this pin falls out and you lose it you're gonna have a bad time uh, so we put all the pins in so the whole uh, pod area or the hatch door looks like that we do repeat that for the back um, which is just detailing on this bit here so we've got the stage complete for that one there uh, the next uh, item we do is another elevator car now if you want to see me building the elevator car we did that in pack one uh, and it's just following the instructions exactly the same putting the wheels on there uh, and then once we've actually just got the base of it, we jump back to the pod doing the rear hatch. Exactly like we just saw for the first one. Again, make sure these pins are all the way in. Uh, once, it, as it says, if the lead, it says leave the rib tip out. The problem is if you leave that rib tip out, it doesn't fit properly in the pod. I try to push that in as far as I can possibly get it. Um, I'm thinking that, uh, the way they mean it there is really leave it out on this side, not this side. Um, because I've put, managed to push mine all the way. You see, they've got a little gap there. I've managed to get that in all the way. That was definitely stop that pin coming out. Um, and you'll see what I mean about that later on. As a matter of fact, look, they do it there. They push it all the way in so it looks like that. It's a bit deceiving, that one. So be careful of putting that in. That's how you want it to look at the end. It's got to look completely in like that. Uh, okay, once that hatch is done, uh, we have the finished hatch there with some springs. We go back to the elevator car, which I said in pack one we've already done. Uh, and we've... Uh, Building this all together again, it's exactly the same. The only difference is the, uh, you got a number two on this and on the first car you had sort of like a canopy that went over it there. Uh, so that's what that would look like at the end of that stage. Then we've got the base for the pod and once the base is completed we start attaching the hatch doors to it pulling the springs back on this section here and then what that means is that the doors can actually be pulled up and down to, uh, uh, accommodate the, the, the hatch top or the pod top when it comes in. Uh, so we did that. Uh, we did that to both sides. I think on this one it's just, uh, de oh no, it's detailed in both. So we've got both sides there, all completed. Uh, so those springs, what they do is they enable this to be pulled out this way. 
Obviously, it's not spring-loaded going up and down, just this way. And we need that sort of give for when we put the pod over. Okay, uh, we complete the elevator car, and that's done. And then the next size is we're starting to put the framework inside the pod. And the way the frames fit together, they've all numbered, you see. You've got a number on this side here, and a number on the uh, base unit here. They just slot in. This is really easy to do. It's just matching numbers up. And by the time you've finished all of those, you'll have this sort of design here. Then we start building Fab 1. Now this is the bit that I was really, really, really disheartened when I lost the data that I couldn't show you uh, because it was so much fun building this car. Uh, it's exactly like the elevator uh, lifts and all the other uh, cars that we had and vehicles we've had. Uh, we put the cars in exactly the same, uh, the wheels same, exactly the same. We thread them in there. Really tiny details. You will have to use a, t uh, a tweezers for this. As you can see, uh, you've got the uh, cockpit control panels there, the seat, back seat, the sides. The sides are quite tricky to put in. You just got to, they are slots of going uh, horizontal and vertical, so they can only go in one way. You are going to need tweezers, and they basically connect to these points, that one there and that one there. They can only go in one way. So if you try and put that one in the other side, obviously these are going to be around the wrong way. But that's definitely the right size uh, way to put around. Once they're in, you've got the base of the car, which looks just like that. Then we jump back to the uh, pod and we're doing more frames here, putting more frames on. You can see how much footage I've lost now because <laughs> uh, whizzing through this, this was about an hour's worth of footage. Uh, and then once they're all screwed in and we've got this bar going down the middle there, we've got this framework completed there. We jump back to Fab 1 and what we start doing is just doing the top of the car and once the top of the car is done, we meet everything together. It is worth noting... Um, these little exhaust bits that were put on the last stage, they can be very tricky to put in. But once they're in, you've got the finished Fab 1. Looks like a really nice car. And um, as you can see, this in the picture here. I'm really proud of this. I love this car. And it's just such a shame I couldn't show you the build for it. Uh, I am absolutely gutted by that. Uh, when we've got the front panel, this is where I'm going to stop this now. Because uh, I'm actually doing this in the video footage that I do have left. Okay, step nine, we're going to be putting some round details into these two sections here. These are actually in this little tiny pack. So once again, I'm going to try and open this without it going everywhere. <laughs> Never seems to happen. There you go, look nice and gently. Nothing left in there, that's good. So the first detail we're going to be putting on is the silvery sort of one. It's got a little hole which is going to correspond with that one there. So we're going to put a dab of glue just on this side. Tiniest bit. There we go, perfect. Get that in there. Hopefully it'll go in first time, which it does. Push it down. That's perfect. So that's the first one in. That was step nine. Step ten, we're going to be putting the red one in, which is going just on the other side here. So this time I'm going to put a dab of glue just on the little pin there and push this one down. You can see I'm not really a fan of using uh, tweezers if I can get away with it. So there's a nice little red, looks like a bit of an alarm like that one. Uh, next detail, glue detail free here. I say that because detail free is really, really, really tiny. Uh, this one is going to fit in here. I'm going to put a dab of glue just down the bottom there. Probably going to use the tweezers for this one. Uh, so this is another tiny detail. This is step uh, 11. Making sure I've got it round the right way when I put this in. And that's going to just go in here. So I'll just be quiet while I fish this in. That's gone in absolutely perfectly. That bit fits in there. Excellent. Uh, okay, number 14. We've got a detail that looks like this silver thing here. Can only go in one place. Look, we've got three holes for this to go in there. So we'll put some dabs of glue on these. One. Two. I really am putting the tiniest amount of glue on this. Let's get the uh, tweezers to hold this for a second. And we'll get this in. I'm such a liar, isn't I? Look, I'll just say to the camera... I don't like using tweezers, and then what do I do? I go and use tweezers. I've got a little bit there that I want to go in. So I'm trying to get that bit in. There we go. That's that bit in there. Excellent. Uh, next one uh, is uh, detail. Uh, <laughs> says fit detail 11 next to 10. Detail 11 is this uh, black thing here, which has got two points in. I'm just going to see if it's directional. It is directional. The red goes to the top. So it's going to go in that way, to the top of the unit facing this red light there. So once again, I'm going to put a dab of glue on these. One there, 
one there. Get this in. Oh, I just love things that click like that. But there we go, look, that's that detail in there. That's step 14. Step 15, we've got a, like a square of a blue thing on it. Wow, this is cool. Uh, that's gonna go corresponding in this place here. Again, this is completely symmetrical, so it doesn't matter what way around this one goes. It's a square after all. <laughs> so a little dab of glue, and then that's that bit, just dropped onto the top there. That was step 15. Step 16, we've got another detail which looks like this, which follows the same shape as that there. We're gonna glue that one in there now. Look at this, we're racing through this now. We're on the third memory card and we're racing through it. Make sure that that bit's in straight. I noticed that bit's got a little tendency to turn, but that is, just check in, yeah, perfectly straight. Uh, that was detail 16. Uh, detail 17, we're gluing a bit into the bottom, the square which is going into the bottom of this frame there. So we've got some glue around the edge there. And again, this is a square, so it doesn't matter how it goes as long as it drops in. Perfecto. It's going to get me cloth. There's a little bit of excess glue on that one. That's it. Make sure it's straight. Which it is. Okay, that's that bit in. Uh, where are we now? Uh, that was step uh, 17. Step 18, we're going to be putting in, looks like, one of these ladder things. Which is going to be going into these slots at the top and the bottom there. So I'm going to just put a dab on the top of the bottom. I'm not going to put one on the... Oh, there isn't a middle one. <laughs> so just a dab at the top. Perfect. Dab at the bottom. Perfect. And then this should just drop in like it just did on the test there. Ah, oh, that's gone in lovely. Okay, uh, and then... Got bits sticking to me everywhere. <laughs> okay, next bit, we've got the, uh, the other ladder part, which is going to go... Uh, perpendicular to that on this side here. So again, I'm going to hold it. Dab of glue. One. Don't want to put a lot on here. And two. Just enough to keep it in. Lovely. Oh, that is absolutely lovely. I'm so happy with that. Making sure that's in flat, yep, and flush. There you go, and that's that bit in, show you on the side camera there. Uh, that was uh, step 19. Step 20, we've got a little black bit that's going to this side here. Again, this can only go in one way. Uh, and the way it goes is basically facing down onto the unit, just like that. So we'll get this bit in now. That held itself in pretty good there, but it, I'm just gonna put a dab of glue and then put this in. Once this bit's in, make sure it's straight. Just looking at the top, yep, that's perfectly straight. So that was detail uh, 13. Detail 21, sorry, detail detail six, but this is number 21, is this great big uh, sort of like comb thing. It's gonna go right on the top of that one there, just like that. So once again, dab of glue. There's a lot of sprues. You know what, when I first saw this model, I couldn't have told you how much detail there would be in it, but wow. There is absolutely loads of detail. Okay, once you've done that, we've got the little one to do, which has just disappeared. Let me just try and find that. Now, I don't mind saying I had to cut away then because I lost a little bit. Look, I lost that little bit there, as you can see on the top camera, on the floor. It just took me 20 minutes to find it on a carpet. It got stuck to the hand. If you rewind, you'll see that that bit just suddenly disappeared. I found it again, so we can continue. But uh, I've ripped the whole place apart behind me trying to find that bit. So uh, we have now got it, and I've got a mark there. What the hell is that? Because <laughs> I've been under tables and everything to try and find that bit, but we've got it, so we can continue. Yes. So the next stage, <laughs> which is, uh, oh my God, this is um, st uh, detail seven. Uh, we'll be going in just that hole there. So let's do that now before the bit decides it wants to uh, go for a wander again. Tiny bit, can you imagine how long it took to to find it, you'll see what I mean with that. But there you go, that's that detail. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> detail five, this is step 23, is gonna be glued into this bit here. We are running out of bits now, so uh, it can only go in one way. I'm gonna just dab these on the uh, pins on the other side of this here. Oops, hold it by the end there. So we've got one and two, perfect. Can only go in one way. I'm gonna 
offer it to that bit there and then we'll just lay it down and then move it into position. Perfect, oh, a bit of a cloth because we've got a little bit of excess glue on that one. Excellent, so that's that bit done. Uh, that was uh, step 23. Uh, and then all the internal details are done. So it's looking just like that. That looks pretty cool. Uh, what we're gonna be doing now is bringing back this unit here. Now, if you remember, this bit was the bit for the front. Oh, look, the top's come off there. So I'm gonna put it around that way. Let's just put that top bit on again. Clipping it down into where it goes. Didn't tell me to glue these bits in place, so I'm just putting them in where they go. I don't think it wants to go for the minute, so I think I'll just leave it like that for now. Uh, anyway, we're going to be putting this bit on. So the way this works is we're going to feed the uh, tray through the bottom there, just like so, so that then... Oh, it's fiddly. Let's uh, lay it down, actually. We've got to put it at an angle, it says. There we go, that gets it in, just like so. So that's going to be sitting just like there. Uh, and then we're going to pull the front hatch stay out from the floor a little to slide the bottom ridge in. So, yeah, when you put that out, there we go, that fits in perfectly. It just slots in once you pulled that out. That's what those springs were for earlier. Did wonder about that. Uh, then replace everything in a straight line flush with the floor again. So it is in a straight line. That hatch is going to close absolutely perfectly. So that's perfect. That's stage 27. And then 28, we need to turn the assembly over and place a washer here. Orientate the washer as shown and repeat both parts. Oh my God, so we've got washers in this bag here which we're gonna open up. This is gonna be really fiddly because what we're doing is we're gonna be screwing this in place using the screws that we got here as well. Um, but we're doing so without the thing falling apart. So let's see if we can figure this one out. I'm gonna turn it around this way, just like that and see if I can is there anything I can put in it? I'm going to put a camera stand in here just to stop that falling over for a minute. <laughs> a little crocodile, what, what do they call them? Gorilla claw? Stop it. Stop moving. Stay. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'll load up one of these uh, washers, which now don't want to come off of this cutting pad. And really, I don't want to be going around on the floor trying to find them again. Now the way the washers go is basically the long end is pointing towards the, um, go on, let's have a look. It's pointing, well, it's not really a long end once they're in, so it doesn't matter what way the, way the washer goes. I'm loading the uh, screw up here and I'm gonna try and get this in first go. Let's have a look. Once the screw's in a little bit of the way, I should be able to just turn that washer around, I'd like, just to get it in. There we go, then screw it in. Get in. Ah, oh, that's perfect. So we've got one in. Wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Thank you for my little gorilla claw there. We're going to do the same on the other one. So that's screwing in lovely. Nice and tight. And there we go. That's the front attracted to it. So now I'll just show you the actual side here. Once that comes up and that just clips in like that. That is brilliant. I like that. <laughs> Okay, so we've got that panel on there um, and we've screwed those two bits in. What we're going to do now is this part that we had over here, and we need to make sure we put it the right way around again. Uh, we're going to be putting the flat end, we're going to be gluing it into this top area just here. So what I'm going to do is put all of this back in again because it fell out when I turned it upside down because they didn't tell me that I need to attach this. But as long as I've got this bit in right, I'm going to put a dab of glue on the end here. And this is step, uh, let's have a look. This is step 31. Put it in where it goes, which is just in there like that. Perfect. Uh, and then fit the tab and hold in the inner front panel and hold until the glue dries. So we're fitting uh, that tab in, the glue has dried. And then all of these should be quite easy to put in now. They should hold themselves in lovely now it's secured at one end, which it does. And that's what that looks like from that side. So that's that stage complete. Uh, next thing we're gonna be doing is the rear panel. So I'm just gonna move this to one side for a second, move my little uh, gorilla arm over and bring in the last pack. See, we've got some more details on here, but they're a lot tidier than the last ones. Okay, we'll get all these out. Oh my God, they're a lot tinier. <laughs> Please don't let me lose any this time. Okay, that's empty. Okay, once again, I've only got one sprue this time though, 
Uh, it wants me to part these bits. Obviously, they come together, but we need to sort of separate them because we're going to need to glue this. <laughs> separate them was the hardest bit. So just like last time, steps one and two is to just put dabs of glue on each one of these points here. There's seven points there, I've done that too. Move the glue out of the way. And then we put this bit in. And that's never ever coming out there ever, ever again. <laughs> We're gonna need, uh, remove these two details from the sprues. So I'm gonna use my trusty uh, clippers for this. Just put them in half, then I can bend them down. Get that piece off there. Get the two little details off. And then, these ones actually. If it's a big burr, I use my clippers. If it's just a small one, that's when I use my little emery board. So get rid of this one on that side and check this one. We've got a little one on this one. I had a little one on that one, that's gone. Two tiny little bits there. Uh, but once they're out and we've got the burrs, we're gonna, oh, we're on page 62 of these now. <laughs> we're gonna put the first detail in. Now the first detail goes in just this little bit right up the top here. So I'm going to dab a glue on this bit here, just a really tiny bit, not going to need a lot because I'm going to be using my um, little tweezers to put this in and the button on it wants to point towards the left, towards this wall here. So when this goes in, I'm going to be quiet as I'm positioning it around. Come on you, get in the hole. There you go, lovely. That's that first detail in there. Uh, second detail, it's a nice big blue one. I'm just seeing if this is directional. The way they've got it in uh, is basically, because this is directional, is, oh, this way around. They just say, make sure that, yeah, yeah, I've put it in the right way, so that's good. So put that bit in there, a little bit of glue. And we've got the blue bit on this side here. I can't wait to get some pictures taken with this because these details are really good. That's just pressed in, that's perfect. So that was detail a six. Check you, check you have fitted the part correctly. I have pitted the, fit, pitted? I have fitted the part correctly. <laughs> okay, uh, step seven, we're gonna put the next detail in, which is this bit here, which is gonna go just underneath it. So I'm gonna put some little tabs in there. Just like that. And they're gonna go in. in the hole. Just like that. I needed a bit of force, I have to say that one. But that's that bit in there. Lovely. Uh, next stage is uh, st detail four, which is going on the other side here, which is this other little tiny bit of uh, plastic here but we, we we haven't got a direction for this one so it doesn't matter what way around this one goes because this is very symmetrical I'm putting this in with tweezers because it's glued to my hand already so that's going in there probably best on the top camera for this oh come on get in there some of these don't want to go in the holes, I have to say. I'm going to try and turn it around and see if uh, I can persuade it the other way. One of the holes might be a different size. If it doesn't go in the holes, then I just cut this thing off and just glue it in that way. I'm just going to try one last time. One's in, two's in. That took a lot of force to get that in, but that's in, as you can see. <laughs> okay, uh, next detail is the one that goes slightly underneath that, which is this one here. Uh, again, this can only fit in one way, but how to put this one in, this is going to be a bit tricky because uh, you're not gluing the hole. I'm, all I'm going to do is put a dab of glue just in the centre. That should be enough just to hold it over these two points here. Because that's going in just like that. There's hardly any glue on that holding that in, but that's in anyway, so we're good there. And that's the inner wall panel done. That looks just like that. Uh, I don't know what these bits are for. What are all these bits for? Hasn't told me. Very interesting. Uh, I'm just looking further on to see if uh, that details. Yeah, these details go on the outside. So I'm going to keep these bits to one side for a minute because just like last time, we're going to have some fun with this. We're going to be bringing this across and we're going to be putting the inner 
vehicle here just on this so again we'll put this on diagonally just to feed it in when it's in we push it out a little bit just so that sits flush in there oops just like that perfectly flush and then we're going to put it on its side and it holds itself this time which is good and once again we're going to be battling with these uh <laughs> with these screws and these washers hopefully it'll be a lot easier this time but we know what we're doing this time so we should have two washers perfect i'm going to load the screw up load a washer up hopefully you can see this on the side camera and then i'm going to be screwing this into here so let's uh put, oh god look see why can't it be easier <laughs> let's get this screw in lovely oops we want to pull that hang on we want to pull that out so it fits flush if it doesn't fit flush we're not doing it right i did notice something on here which i'm going to fix in a minute that the hinge is not all the way in on one of them so i want to make sure that's fixed but we'll get this first one in first one's in that's good Gotta make sure that's nice and tight because i want to check again that base here i'm not happy with this hinge on this side so i'm just going to push that in ah, perfect that ain't going nowhere right we'll get the other one in so we've got the washer here we'll load up the uh oops screw These are probably the fiddliest parts of it now, we're doing now. Because I haven't seen a part this fiddly yet. And then once again, we're going to turn it upside down. Get this in there. Lovely. I just started it off then, and then that can go in perfectly. There we go. So that's that one in. So once again, got a little tab on there. We can shut that, and then that's that. Both doors closed now. Move that glue out of the way. Pretty cool, huh? I'm liking that already. That looks really good. Um, so there's no gap. That was step 14. Uh, we've screwed it in, which was steps 15, 16, and 17. Uh, now we're going to be putting the back area here. So we're going to put a little glue just on this bit here. Uh, where's my glue? But before I put this in, once again, I've got to push all of those sections down. So I'm going to put that to one side just while I see which ones I've just popped out then. That's perfect. And then I'm going to put that bit in there because once this bit's in here, just like that, that ain't coming out. So that is the top frame in. Come on, get that bit down there. Excellent. I'm just holding that in place while that sets. Uh, that was number 18. So let's just dab a little glue on that, which we've done and fit it into that. Now we're going to be putting some details on the vehicle so we're looking at the uh, front of the vehicle these details are going so these little square things that we had here they're all going to be going on these four bits just at the front here so i'm going to put a dab of glue again they are all I'm just looking what way around they go they all go with these sort of things pointing down if you look at the square in the middle we've got like edges on each side and nothing at the top uh, they all go with the edges pointing down so i'm going to put them in now what I'll do with this one, I'm just put a dab of glue in the middle here on each one. There's one, two, three, four, and then let's get these in so they're in the right way. So number one's in. Just have a look at the pieces. Number two. Excellent. Number three. Excellent. Making sure they're all straight. Whoops. <laughs> I dropped that, but I saw where it went, so we're all good. And number four is the last piece to go in. Make sure they're the right way, that way around. Number four is in. Just checking all of these are in perfect there and there. That's what that side looks like there. Lovely and straight. That was pack three done. So there you have it. We've got a finished pod. We've got the finished elevator car. And I've put both of the cars together in this picture. And then last but not least, we've got Fab One, which uh, 
really do like this vehicle. And it's just a shame that yeah, the footage was lost because there's me going, yes, my lady, <laughs> all the time when I was doing the build. But uh, I never get a chance to do that now. Oh, well, listen, if this has whet your appetite and you want to subscribe to this yourself, then just type in this uh, URL down the bottom here. Now, as you can see, there's a discount code underneath it. That discount code will give you 5% off each pack if you want to subscribe to this. You can, can have 12-month subscription options or a 24-month subscription option. And what I'll do is, at the end of this video, I'll show a splash screen at the end with a link to some of the previous videos and also all the discount code and the uh, URL in there as well. But anyway, come in soon, pack four. Hope you like that video. Take care.